What is up, everybody? This is Ryback Stun. We have returned to Marvel Heroes. We've got a test center preview here of Mr. Fantastic, the newest hero to Marvel Heroes, and he's actually a fairly interesting character. Uh, he's got some melee, some range, it's all physical damage. He's got a lot of um, utility things that he can use. But let's get right to it. Passives I can actually go through as it happens. There's something... There was one other uh, thing here that was a passive in addition to... So something else and I cannot there we go elastic body was that already on here yes it was okay so uh the first tree we have is his elastic fists and your first thing here is just stretch punch so he punches and it is in an area around him uh it looks like I can't get all three of them but if I hover over the actual power itself you can see its arc then we have giant punch which is your quote-unquote boss killer it does 48 percent extra damage to bosses and boom it's a giant fist that he swings at people then there's Fantastic Grab, where he swings out his arms, boom, and it allows him to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, pull pe people forward, because these are test dummies, you can't pull them forward. Next is the Elasta Punch, which is another basic, he just swat, 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 does a decent amount of damage, has a pretty decent attack speed here. Then we have Elastic Barrage, which is one of those uh, hold down powers to do uh, ongoing damage, plus it's 40% uh, slow reduction on your opponent, and you can see he does actually do a pretty decent amount of damage there. Then we have the Corkscrew Punch, which is a charge, and it does not it has a knockdown component to it, costs a little bit of spirit. So you can just quick tap it, boom, there's your that, or you can toast. fully charge it and boom, get everybody some damage there, notice that crit. And then you have your movement power, or the lunge here, which is stretch dash, boom, you'll use this to get across low level um, places. Uh, now, next we have the Plastics, Plastiques, Plasticity, there we go. Which you have Inflate, which this is an interesting power. Uh, you stand next to somebody, it does damage, it regenerates health and spirit, and it negates damage by 15% for 5 seconds, and it's got a 15 second cooldown, so boom! And there's your damage on those guys. Next one is you have your Crowd, con your, uh, crowd Control Break, your CC Break, and it also has a passive effect on it, which gives you Defense Rating, Projectile Reflection, and Projectile Deflection Chance. Now, this is how CC breaks are done, is that if you want people to take it, you need to give them something that's worth taking. Wolverine has the, the resurrection thing, um, Doctor Strange has the uh, damage on it, and Reed has got defense rating and deflection chance, which is just a passive effect, and boom, there's your break, and all that other lovely stuff. We have Super Stomp here, which has got a medium-sized spirit cost, two-second cooldown, but boom, you just move it to uh, dash around, and bam. Slam people, notice how his feet get pretty big. Why it's actually pretty pretty intense there. I'm going to do the signature last in this part. We've got Twister, which is uh, very much like the Steel Cyclone. You just move around and bat, 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 bat. And yeah. And then you have your wheel, which is your travel power, which is actually really cool. Um, especially <laughs> since you can get it to work like Wolverine's bike, where you can just drift in certain directions, which is kind of cool. And then we have here the... Spectacular Spheroid, which allows you to activate it five times in 15 seconds. 19 spirit cost each time it activates, 30 second cooldown, and it does uh, physical damage per hit with synergy in your ultimate. So, boom, boom, two, three, four, five. There you go, that's your five and 15, and it does a you know a decent amount of damage. Notice all the stuff that's kind of blowing up around. So there is that. On to the third tree, which is super genius. Here we have Graviton Emitter, which knocks down enemies. It makes them vulnerable and has a five second cooldown. It's like a little grenade that activates. Uh, very much like uh, the Vortex Grenade, but it doesn't do extra damage. You have your two auras, which one is Photonic Stimulant Field, which gives you accuracy, but it also gives you a 5% chance to stun for two seconds on a crit or a brute hit. And then your other one is Repulsion Field Array, which gives you toughness, and it gives you 5% chance to stun for two seconds when struck. So, here's what the Photonic Stimulant looks like, here's what the Repulsion Field Array looks like, and then boom. Next we have Herbie, which you summon him, and uh, you gain Constitution, it stuns enemies around you, and the summon duration is 15 seconds. Hello, Herbie. Very much like the, uh... oh, and he actually does damage, that's neat. Not all that much, but, you know, he's there to help out. Then you have your Hyperstatic Inducer, which deals physical damage. It has a stun uh, duration and area duration, so you just go thwap, 
and that was not at all where I wanted to throw that, but notice how the area effect works. Short cooldown, so we're good. Does damage there. They ignored the stun, but it continues doing the damage. And then you have your Positron Emitter, which is very much like the Elastic Barrage. You just hold it. It does have a cooldown, so you might want to consider holding it for as long as you have the cooldown if you have that, uh, that lovely amount of spirit to be able to do so. Boom, boom. And then last but not least, we have another passive active power that refreshes the cooldowns of all your gadgets. And uh, it also gives you a passive effect of crit rating and dodge rating. Your attacks deal 10% more damage after using a cooldown power, and it reduces the cooldown of all gadget powers by one second when you crit or brute hit, which is actually pretty cool, up to once per second. So let me see if I can test this out really quick. Uh, I need to look here. We need to do that. Then we need to do this and this. So we're going to go F... Q, E, A, and then a right click. And all the things are done. And bam. There you go. So now this is on cooldown. And all of these powers in the Super Genius Tree, except for Outwit, are gadget powers. So you can reduce their cooldown to zero with Outwit. And then we have the ultimate, the Fantastic Four, which gives you... Uh, actually, let's just look at it. Boom. So you'll notice we've got Johnny, we've got Thing. Ooh, look at that, and you just roll around with Thing. Johnny does a bunch of damage, and Thing does a spin damage using Reed as a hammer, and then oh, Sue comes in with it giving you a shield, and everybody flies out with a fantastic car. That's a pretty impressive ultimate. A lot of work went into that, and I enjoy that ultimate very much. I think it's really cool, and I can see myself using it more than just, you know, in boss fights. So a couple more things we want to look at before we leave here. We'll look at his, uh, he's got six durability, his attributes, excuse me, six durability, three strength, two fighting, two speed, one energy, and six intelligence, which is actually pretty good. It gives you some extra stuff there. His other costume I don't think is currently in the store. Let's look really quick. No, he's not even in the, the costume section of the store. And the most important part is his synergy. His synergy is actually impressive. 5% crafting discount cost and 4% critical damage. So there's no reason to level Hawkeye anymore because you get this and an addition to it, unless you really want the 8% crit damage, and then you just go with that. So notice how it does say 8% crit, crit damage and the 5% crafting cost. So that's all good. Haven't had a chance to take a look at his, at his uniques, but somebody on the either the test forums or the Mr. Fantastic forums has posted all the uniques, so go ahead and check that out. I'll try to put a link in the description here. Mr. Fantastic is a pretty impressive character, more so than I thought he was going to be. Should be pretty fun to play. I probably won't end up getting him immediately, maybe through Splinters later on. Uh, very much the same as uh, Invisible Woman, because I wasn't impressed with her kit as much as I have been with Reed. But Reed's also kind of a character that I don't want to focus on right now. Um, that's it. Quick video. Tried to get it as short as possible. We're down to a little bit less than 10 minutes, so that's kind of where I want, it, I want it to get. But there's your trees, all this other lovely stuff. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I did making it. Remember to like and comment on the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Tumblr, at RybackStun. More videos as they come. Enjoy Reed when he releases, and we'll be back next time with either Cosmic or hopefully another hero release. So with that, this is Ryback Stun, signing out.